Senate has unanimously passed a new county revenue sharing formula that will see none of the counties losing revenue while sharing the 316 billion shillings to the county governments. The House has also passed the county revenue allocation bill that will now give Treasury the green light to disperse the monies. Vincent Adour starts us off. After 10 failed attempts at reaching a consensus on which formula to use while sharing the 316 billion shillings to counties, this Thursday, all the 41 senators present unanimously supported the third basis for revenue sharing brokered by the 12th member mediation committee. Abstentions zero, nays zero, eyes 41. The eyes have it. That the protracted process that we took has been able to bring on the table of our counties an additional 53.5 billion. So it has not been in vain, Mr. Speaker. It has borne fruit. According to the new formula, no county government will be allocated revenue less than what it got in last financial year budget. This means that on the new formula, no county is losing revenue unlike the previous controversial government-backed formula that would have seen 19 counties losing revenue while 28 others gaining. An added benefit in the new agreement is that the equitable shareable revenue will stand at 370 billion shillings from the next several financial years up to 2025. Equitable share for 2020-2021, the county allocation will be equal to the allocation ratio, which is 2019-2020, plus zero by the formula, meaning each county shall get exactly what they got. The formula of 18% population index, 17% health index, 10% agriculture index, 5% urban index, 14% poverty index, 8% land allocation, land area index. And with the passage of the county revenue allocation bill, now Treasury can proceed to disburse the monies. As a leader, when you do something, never be afraid to be misunderstood. If your conscience is clear and you're doing the right thing, do it, they will understand later. I hope those who put those billboards now will put one saying, thank you for the 3.3 billion. The governors were sitting with the president last year and this year they have been sitting with the president this year. They didn't get a single cent on top of what was allocated by the treasury. Shame unto these governors. Shame unto these governors. This latest move will now enable counties to resume full operations a day after the Council of Governors directed all governors to shut down non-essential services due to a crash crisis in the counties. Senators Johnson Sakaja, Kipchumba Murkomen, Mithika Linturi, Cleophas Malala and Mutula Kilonzo Jr. have been some of the fiercest opponents to the initial government-backed formula to the point of putting the House leadership and the national government at the receiving end. Vincent Odur, NTV.